this video we'll be looking at how to find information using the Encyclopedia of Ancient History. The Encyclopedia of Ancient History is a reference work containing a comprehensive collection of 21st century scholarship on the ancient Mediterranean world. Entries span the Bronze Age through to 10th century Byzantium and extend to all Mediterranean civilizations, including the Near East and Egypt. Materials include articles, images and maps of the ancient world. Reference works can be particularly useful at the beginning of your search when you're looking for an overview of your topic area, or if you're looking to find a particular fact to add to an argument. They can also be useful if you want to develop your knowledge of key subject vocabulary. You can access the encyclopedia from the Subject Specific Resources tab on your subject guide, or by typing the name of the resource into Library Search and clicking on the blue bubble link in the record. You may need to sign in with your university ID and password if accessing the resource off campus. There are a number of different ways to locate entries of interest in the encyclopedia. Firstly, you can browse entries alphabetically A to Z or by topic area. Browsing by topic could be useful if you're looking for an overview of your subject area. Let's take a quick look at the Byzantium topic. You can see that the topics are ordered alphabetically and cover a range of subjects from places to people and agriculture to administration. Clicking on a record title will take you through to the article. Here there are a number of useful tools and options. You have a brief abstract at the top giving a summary of the article and at the bottom have links to similar entries that may be of interest. On the right hand side you'll find three useful sections. Under information you'll see publishing details which will be useful for referencing the article as well as topics and keywords that you may be able to add to your next search. The Related tab offers suggestions for similar articles you may find useful, and in the References tab, you'll see a list of the resources cited in this entry. As these resources are not part of the encyclopedia, you'll need to look for them on Library Search using the Find a New Castle button, or via Google Scholar. Finally, along the top, you can choose to download a PDF of the entry, send a link to your email, or under the Tools option, find help referencing the article or exporting a reference to your reference management tool. If you're looking for information on a specific topic, using the search options may be more effective than browsing. The search box is located at the top of the screen to the right. Clicking inside the box expands it and provides some additional options. We can either do a simple keyword search or use advanced search for a more complex query. Let's look at a simple search first. I'm going to search for an entry on the Acropolis. I have quite a lot of results as my search has looked for the term Acropolis in the title, keywords or abstracts of all encyclopedia entries. I can use the filters on the left hand side to narrow my results by date or author if needed. However, in this case, the entry I want is here at the top. In this article, you'll notice that there's a fourth tab on the right-hand side for figures. These are the images used throughout the entry, which you can download to view in PowerPoint. Note that if you want to use these images in your own work, you will need to check the copyright license. Usually, if the image is owned by Wiley, you can use it as long as you reference it appropriately. However, if the image is from a third party, you may need to use the Request Permission option in the tool menu depending on its intended use. Advanced Search offers you some additional options for managing and refining your search. You can ask the database to search for your keywords in a particular field, such as the article title or author name. You can also look within a particular date range and select which publications to search in advance. This will default to the Encyclopedia of Ancient History. This time, let's look for entries on Rome and Sport and the Colosseum. 
On the results page, you'll see a refined search option. Clicking this will allow you to make changes to your search, look at your search history, and see any saved searches. In order to save searches and set up search alerts to be notified of any new articles on your topic, you'll need to create a free account with Wiley. For more help on finding information in your subject area, visit your subject guide or contact us on Library Help.